Hello everyone and welcome to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we are in Cincinnati to try to avenge yesterday's loss. Our overall record is 12 and 3, which, you know, is good. It is the best in the majors by I think a game over the Padres if I remember right. But when we're not playing the Brewers, we've looked pretty mo pretty mortal. And we won eight against the Brewers, eight and zero against them. So take those wins out, and we're only four and three on the year. So we'll see how things go now that we've kind of put the Brewers in our rearview mirror for a while. We've lost two games to these Reds already. Once at our park, and now once in theirs. They're going to throw Dice K Matsuzuka out there. Who has 6 ERA. Does, doesn't look like he's been off to the greatest start. I don't believe we saw him in the series back at our park. Though we definitely saw him last year several times. Kester to start things off. Back to the regular lineup. And he has a 1-1 one one count to start this at bat. Line drive into left field, but it stays up for Adam Dunn to make the play. One down, Marvin at the plate, batting left-handed. Marvin had a chance to tie the game yesterday, but popped out to first. Flies out to right in the first at bat in this at game. In, in this game. I don't know where that at came from. Anyway, Chief now at the plate. He's getting that average back up towards 300. It's going to pop this one up to Derek Lee, though, for a 1-2-3 inning. Norris Hopper is going to start things off for the Reds, as he has for the at least the last two seasons, if not more. See, we have our normal defensive lineup back out there. Graves is on the mound for his third start of the year, since he had to miss a second one when he surprisingly wasn't ready. Graves has not given up an earned run this year. First pitch to Hopper, runs inside. Second pitch is called a strike. This slider and hit back to Graves. He's going to throw to first. One down. Chow at the plate. He'll swing and miss at the first pitch. This one is not badly hit, but pulled well foul down the right field line. 0 oh, into the count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down now. Derek Lee at the plate. Has a pair of homers so far, but hitting sub 200 still. Looks at strike one. Grounds this one to third. Chief picks it up, takes a step, throws over to get the last out. Six up, six down so far. We move into the second inning. Terry is going to lead things off for the Squirrels. Dice K winds. Delivers strike one. Swing and a miss, 0-2. There's a line drive into center field. Terry with a leadoff single. That's going to be good for the first hit of the game for either team. Frank at the plate now. He takes strike one. Dice K from the stretch for the first time today. Puts that fastball in the dirt. Ground ball that's going to get through the right side of the infield. Back-to-back -back singles puts runners on first and second. Tom at the plate. His average up over 400, though he's not hit a home run yet this year. Looks at strike one. That fastball too low. And that one outside. Two and one the count. This is going to be hit in the left field. It's going to get down into the corner. Terry is in to score. Frank will stop at third. An RBI double for Tom, and the Squirrels take the early 1-0 lead. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
All right, that's going to bring Zach to the plate. His average sitting under 200, unusual for him. Takes the first pitch outside. There's a base hit into right center. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. A two RBI single makes the game 3 nothing. Still nobody out. Joey at the plate. Daisuke, after looking so good in the first, is falling apart here in the second. Has Joey with an 0-2 count. This one lined right to Derek Lee. He makes the grab. Zach goes back to first. Graves now at the plate. Wondered if he might possibly bunt. Doesn't look like it. Let's the first pitch go outside. And this pitch gets through Ross's legs. That's going to move Zach up to second. Now Graves shows bunt with a 2-0 count. And he puts it down. So a sacrifice bunt. Puts Zach at third base. Two down now. Kester at the plate. Looks at ball one. Looks at strike one. And that slider catches the outside corner. One and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That ends the top of the second, but the squirrels are able to put three across the plate. Adam Dunn is going to lead off for the Reds in the bottom half of the inning to try to get some of these runs back. Adam Dunn hitting sub 200 but has five home runs. I've not looked at the home run race, but I feel like that's got to be high up on the list this early in the season. Has an 0-2 count in this at-bat. And then this one is pulled too far foul. Down the first baseline. I thought off the bat it might be a hit, but pulled it too much. This one is going to be a hit. It's going to drop in in front of Zach out and right. Lead off single for Dunn is the first Reds hit of the game. Edwin Encarnacion at the plate. Swings and misses at the first pitch. He's going to put this one to Kester. Will we get two? No. Dunn able to get back to first. Not a badly hit ball there from Encarnacion, but... Not the best placed, unfortunately, for him. Brings Brandon Phillips to the plate. One on, one out, and he quickly falls behind 0-2. Grounds this one to Kester. I think it's going to be too softly hit for a double play. Yeah. Only out is at second. So now two down, one on. David Ross at the plate, and he'll take strike one. David Ross, that looks like it's going to be a base hit into center, left center. Phillips on to third, puts runners on the corners with two outs. Thomas Perez at the plate. He'll take strike one. That fastball too far outside. Ground ball on a changeup. Chief throws over to first, and that will end the second inning. Three to nothing, Squirrels lead. They'll send Marvin up to the plate to open up the third inning. Marvin flew out in his first at bat. Watches that changeup go outside. Swing and a miss makes it one and one. And that slider down and in, but called a strike. Which I did, probably did catch the inside corner. That splitter too low. Two and two the count. That change up too low as well. Full count on Marvin leading off the inning. Swing and a miss, strike three. One out for Chief. He popped out to first in his first at bat. Looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0 and 2. Fouls this one away to stay alive. Hits this one. This should be a hit. Yes, it is. Right by the right field line. Rolls into the corner. Chief on his way to second, and he is in there easily. I do think he slid, but it could have been a stand-up double.
All right. A runner in scoring position with only one out. Terry at the plate looks at a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down now. Frank's going to have to come up with a hit to drive this run in. And looks like he's done just that. Drops it into right field. Chief already in to score. Four to nothing squirrels now. Brings Tom to the plate. Hit a double in his first at bat. Looks at a pitch outside. Looks at a pitch inside. There's a called strike. Is this going to work out for a hit? No, hook's foul. Near the right field line, but not there. Hit and run. Doesn't matter. Derek Lee only has to step on first, and he does so. Four to nothing Squirrels lead now as we go to the bottom of the third. Dice K is presumably going to lead things off. Not his best outing. I wouldn't have totally blamed the Reds for taking him out, but looks like they're going to keep rolling with him for now. First pitch is too low. Second pitch swung on and missed. This should be a base hit into center field. Daisuke trying to help his cause here. His first hit of the year as well. Brings Norris Hopper to the plate. He ground right back to Graves in his first at bat. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. And grounds this one to Terry. If only, well, I thought the only play was going to be to first, but actually they do get the out at second. That is the only out, so they just trade out Dice K for Norris Hopper. Brings Shao to the plate with one out, and he puts this one into shallow left for a base hit. Runners now on first and second. Cincinnati threatening to score with Derek Lee at the plate, and again, only one out. First pitch, a change up for a strike on the inside corner. Oh, that's going to be a base hit. That could score two, possibly. Marvin cuts it off okay, though. That's going to keep... Oh, whew. close play at second, though it does turn into a double for Derek Lee. Reds do score their run, so that makes it 4-1. to one. Really thought that throw might have gotten Lee at second. So puts runners at second and third. Only one out, and Adam Dunn at the plate. He takes a strike. Takes another strike. And that's a base hit for Adam Dunn into center. That will score two. So both pitchers not their sharpest today. Four to three, still a squirrel's lead, but the Reds threatening to tie it here. Incarnacion at the plate. Starts off with the strike. Starts off with the second strike. And then watches that curveball in the dirt. This one gets through the middle for another hit. Dunn is not going to try to score. So that will leave runners at the corners for Brandon Phillips. Again, only one out. This is definitely out of character for Graves. Has a one and one count on Phillips. That changeup goes in the dirt to make it two and one. Runner takes off. And Phillips thrown out by a wide margin. Three and one the count now. Two out. Swing and a miss makes it full. Runner are still on third. And that's a walk. Or wait. Phillips was in the box. Encarnacion's the one that got thrown out. My apologies. David Ross at the plate. Takes strike one. Runners on the corners. Two outs. Called strike two. Swing and a miss. Graves finally out of the inning. Squirrel still ahead by one, four to three. So we go into the fourth inning. Zach due up for the squirrels. Squirrels now being out hit that they stay ahead on the scoreboard in the runs column. Zach with the base hit his first time up. Put his average back over 200. Looks at strike one. And that was slider stayed high. This one hit down the right field line, but foul. One and two the count. 
Dice K winds. Delivers. A ball that's hit into left field. That one will stay fair. Zach will stay at first. A leadoff single to start the fourth. That'll bring Joey to the plate. And he'll take strike one to open this at bat. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, Graves at the plate. Sack bunted in his first at bat. Has a 0 and 1 count to open this at bat. Looks at a fastball. Looks at another fastball, but this one down and in. Grounds this one towards first, and it is called a fair ball. Derek Lee steps on the bag and throws to second, but the only out they get is at first. So that does put a runner into scoring position, but there are two outs. Kester has a one and one count to start this at bat. Called strike on a changeup makes it one and two. Called strike three. That ends the inning. Still four to three squirrels as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Perez will start things off for the Reds. Perez ground out in his first at bat. Graves starts off with a slider, which draws a swing and a miss. And that curveball stays outside. This one too low. Two and one the count. Popped up, Tom has a play and he makes it just behind the umpire. One down, Dice K going to hit for himself. Got a base hit in his first at bat after I suggested maybe the Reds go ahead and go to the bullpen. Only for the Reds to respond with three runs. So, you know, shows what I know. 0-2 the count on Dice K here. He swings and misses, two down. Norris Hopper 0 for 2 today. First pitch is too low. There's a called strike. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Swing and a miss strike three. That will end the fourth inning. Good bounce back inning there from Graves. Keeps the game at four to three squirrels. Marvin will lead things off in the fifth inning. Marvin 0 for 2. Flew out to right, I believe it was. And then struck out. Gets this one up, not through. Derek Lee makes a good play down the line. One down. Chief doubled in his last at bat. Swings and misses at the first pitch here. And that slider goes outside. And that one down and out. Two and one the count. There's a called strike. Two and two. Hits this one, but Perez fields it, throws it over. Two down. Terry at the plate. One for two. Singled and struck out. Nobody on base. Two outs here. First pitch is over the plate. Strike one. Looked pretty hittable, but Terry let it go. Swings at this one and is going to fly out to center. Shao officially makes the grab. Halfway through the game, Squirrels leading 4-3. to three. Shao is going to lead off the bottom half of the inning after ending the top half. Shao won for two so far. He looks at strike one. Curveball for a strike, 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike 3. One down, Derek Lee doubled in his last at bat. Almost has that average back to 200, sitting at 196 at the moment. Looks at strike 1. That's going to be a base hit as Frank was playing way back, I think, on the warning track. 
So that's a base hit. Adam Dunn, two for two, single and a double so far as this pitch gets away. Moves Derek Lee down to second with one out. Dunn has a one and oh count. Swings and misses to make it one and one. Called strike on the outside corner. Fouls this one off his foot. And they're going to come take a look at him. All right, thinks he's okay to keep going. So a one and two count at the plate. Runner on second, one out. That fastball too high. Dunn does not chase it. This one in the zone. Dunn swings but comes up empty. Two down, Encarnacion at the plate. Got a hit in his last at bat for thrown out stealing. Thro thrown out stealing. Not sure that came out exactly right. This one does get through the middle of the infield. Derek Lee is going to tie the game. Four to four. Brings Brandon Phillips to the plate. 0 for 1 with a walk. Looks at strike one. Runner on first, two outs. Fouls this one away, 0 and 2. Line to third. Chief grabs it. That will end the fifth inning. So we've played five. We're tied at four. Frank is going to lead things off for the Squirrels in the sixth. Frank two for two with a pair of singles so far today. First pitch goes outside. As does that one, 2-0. Oh. There's a called strike. Ooh, a swing and a miss on a pitch down the middle. Two and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll bring Tom to the plate. One for two with a double today. Watches the first pitch break outside. Swing and a miss makes it one and one. Hits this one. <coughs> Excuse me, back to Dice K, who makes the play. Zach two for two today. Two outs here with nobody on base. Looks at strike one. Hits this one back up the middle for a base hit. Puts one on with two outs for Joey, who is 0 for 2 today with a line out and a strikeout. Grounds this one back towards the middle, but Phillips is going to make the play. That'll end the sixth inning, 4-4. Four to four. David Ross is going to lead off things in the bottom half of the inning. And tied or not, I think I've made the decision this is going to be Graves' last inning either way. Um, with his spot coming up in the order to lead off the seventh. Ross starts off with a ground out to short. Joey with a long throw, but makes it with ease with his excellent arm. Thomas Perez at the plate now. Looks at strike one on a low slider. That changeup misses the zone. Fouls that fastball away. One and two the count. This fastball just misses inside. Two and two. So fouled away. Thought that was going to get by him, but Perez, Perez does get a little bit of wood on it. There's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Dice K going to hit for himself here. He's one for two on the day. So that fastball is down and out. That fastball still too low. Gets a swing and a miss on a changeup. And that pitch goes down and in. Three and one the count. There's a called strike. Full count, two outs, nobody on base. Swing and a miss. That'll end the sixth inning. We are still tied at four. I think we're going to try Sweeney 
as a pinch hitter here. Well, the Reds are going to change pitchers even after letting Matsuzaka hit. John Reinecker is going to come in and pitch now. Just saw him yesterday. Alright, see what Sweeney can do here. <laughs> Almost gets hit by the first pitch. And watches that curveball in the dirt. That should be base hit up the middle, and it is a leadoff single from Sweeney. He has worked himself to a speed 15, so we'll see if he tries to take second here. Kester tries to bunt. Sweeney is thrown out. So base is suddenly empty. Kester with a 0-1 count. Fouls this pitch away to make it 0-2. And fouls this one away as well. So I throw it out. That really felt like a little bit of a gut punch. It felt like a promising inning suddenly got away from us. Kester grounds out to second. That will bring Marvin to the plate. Now batting right-handed. Hits this one to deep center. Will it get over Shao's head? It will. Goes off the wall. Looks like Marvin is going to stop at second base as he should have. So I didn't think he quite got all that off the bat, but I knew he hit it well. It's like bounced off the warning track and off the wall. Brings Chief to the plate with the chance for the Squirrels to take the lead again, but there are two outs. That changeup called a strike. And that fastball up and out. High, high hop. Reinecker catches it. And just gets the out at first to end the inning. Thought Chief might beat that one out. Let's see how close he really was. Oh man, very close. So that brings us to the stretch, tied at four. Hopper on the other side. going to switch pitchers here and one nice thing about Chief making the last out is that it makes the double switch very easy though I would have rather had to make some kind of lineup decision instead of doing it this way but you know we'll take the pluses where we can get them Jones is gonna come in he normally follows Graves though normally also has a lead Right now, 4-4, four four, Norris Hopper at the plate. He takes strike one. And Jones apparently not feeling his sharpest, but has Hopper at a 0-2 count. And gets him to pop up to third. Sweeney should make this play over in the coach's box, and he does. Shao, one for three today. A single sandwich between a couple strikeouts. Has a one and one count in this at bat. Here's a called strike. And that fastball in the dirt. Two and two. Grounds this one. Terry's going to field it and step on first. Two down. Derek Lee, two for three today. Does have that average above 200 now. Looks at strike one. This one goes inside. One and one the count. Breaking ball just doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. One and two the count on Lee, though. He goes back to it, and Lee's going to pop this one up to third. Sweeney takes a couple steps, grabs it, and that will end the seventh inning. We're still tied at four. Terry is going to lead things off for the Squirrels in the eighth. 
Reinecker still out there to pitch. Looks at a curve for strike one. Swings at that one to ground to first. One down. Frank, or yeah, Frank is two for three today. Looks at a ball down and out in the first pitch. Ah, pops up a pitch right down the middle. Reinecker fields it himself. Two down. Tom is one for three today. Average at 400 even. Looks at strike one. Fouls this one away. And that pitch too high. One and two the count. That pitch out of the zone as well makes it two and two. Takes that one outside, full count. Two outs, nobody on. Hits this one into left, but I think Dunn will have it, and he does. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning, still tied at four, and Adam Dunn is going to lead things off for the Reds. We will go ahead and stick with Jones for another inning. He's usually not a multiple inning guy, but don't really know what other move to make with the game still tied. Has Dunn in an 0-2 count. Gets him to pop this one back up to Jones, who's still standing on the mound even. One down. Encarnacion two for three today. Takes a fastball too low. That one called a strike. One and one. Called on the outside corner. One and two. Oh my. Is it going to stay fair? Off the foul pole. Encarnacion rips a line drive off the pole, rounding third, and gives the Reds the 5-4 lead in the bottom of the eighth. Phillips 0-2 today with a walk. Only one out. He swings and misses at the first pitch. That curve out of the zone. Jones wiping his brow. We're going to see if we can get him through this inning. Marvin should have this one in center, and he does. Two down. David Ross, one for three today. And yeah, first pitch goes outside. Yeah, pitch in the dirt. Come on, Jones. We can get through this here. Goes with the breaking ball. Can't get the call. Three and oh. Gets Graves to, or Ross rather, to swing at three and oh. Bit of an awkward play. Terry had gone for the ball and missed. Kester came up with it, but had to wait for Jones to come over and cover first, but thankfully it all worked out. Reds turn to Cordero to come get this save. The Squirrels are going to have Zach to lead off this inning to try to get this run back even. Zach, 3-for-3 three three today, has dramatically improved his average during this game. Looks at strike one. That pitch up and out. That pitch out of the zone as well. 2-1. and one. Hits this one back up the middle. That will be a leadoff single. Oh, it gets through Xiao as well. This is probably going to turn into a triple. So, I mean, I guess it's really a single and then a two-base error out there in center. And there Joey comes up with the hit to tie the game. Squirrels with life, 5-5 five to five now. And still nobody out. Sweeney at the plate. Got a hit in his one at bat so far today. Oh, ground ball that turns into a double play. Oh, this is about to make the pitching decision real interesting, isn't it? Kester has not been on base today. Two outs, base is empty. Game tied at five. First pitch goes outside. Second pitch is just foul down the right field line. One and one the count. This pitch too low. Two and one. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. 
This does get through for a base hit with two outs. Marvin will come to the plate, doubled in his last at bat, nearly homered. Hits this one, it'll get down into right field for a base hit, and that will give us a pinch hit situation. Kester moves on to third to put runners on the corners. So, I mean, we've got to go with Quinton here. Right, a base hit takes the lead and maybe saves the series. Remember, the Reds did win yesterday, so win today closes off this three-game set. Looks at strike one, looks at strike two. I've got to at least swing the bat here. He does, and Hor oh, Norris Hopper makes the play. It looked like a good shot there from... Quentin, but just needed a little bit closer to the line. So, well, let's go Johnston. We'll put him in Marvin's spot, and we're going to move Zach into center. Which, uh, at one point I was going to see if I could get him rated for center. Looks like I never actually did that, but he has done this for us several times. All right, Thomas Perez is going to lead off things for the Reds in the ninth to see if they can have a walk-off win here the bottom of the order. He looks at strike one, swings and misses, 0-2. Weakly grounded back to Johnston, throws over, one down. Reds turn to their bench, and they find Touch-Eye. Wonder Seven had been their killer pinch hitter. I wonder if he's moved on to a different team already. First pitch is too low. There's a called strike, one and one. Fouled away, one and two. Pops it up. Uh, Johnston's actually going to field it instead of Joey. Two down. Back to the top of the order. Hopper has not been on base so far today. And that sinker outside. Fastball outside. Here's a called strike. Called strike two. Two and two the count. Called strike three on a slurve. We are going into extras. Five to five after nine. Terry's going to lead things off for the squirrels. I'm going to pause here for a moment to go pick up my kids from daycare. You guys shouldn't really notice much. Joe Thatcher is going to come in and pitch. Touch Eye stays at second, and Merrix is going to come in and play center. All right, be right back with you guys. Okay, I am back. I'm sure you didn't miss me. Terry at the plate, 5-5 five five in the 10th. First pitch nearly homeward, but it does hook foul. Thatcher, I think I announced that before I left. Pretty sure I did. That pitch fouled away, 0-2. Oh Grounds this one to short. Perez makes the play, one down. That'll bring Frank to the plate, 2-4 for four today. Really, for being a 5-5 five five game, the at-bats aren't crazy. That's going to be right to Merrick's out in center. He just took over out there. Tom hit a double in his first at-bat, hitless since. Average only at 392. This one, that'll stay fair. That'll get all the way to the wall. Will Tom turn that into another double? It appears he will. So another double, but it comes with two outs. It's going to be up to Zach to try to drive him in and give the squirrels another shot at winning this thing. Zach has had an excellent day at the plate, though. First pitch too high. And that pitch just catches the outside. One and one the count. That should be a hit. Tom 
Rounding for home, he is going to score to make it six to five squirrels. Squirrels take the lead yet again, which means Shibuya will come in and try to get the save whenever we make our last out, unless things really go sideways for Cincinnati here. Joey, with at least one RBI today already, looks at strike one. This one stayed low. One and one the count. I don't know if that one ever made back to the plate. Two and one the count. Make it three and one. Swing and a miss. Full count. Two outs. Runner on second. Called strike three. So the Squirrels take a 6-5 to five lead into the bottom of the 10th. Touch Eye has moved around in the order. Instead of 9th, he's now batting 2nd. I don't know how hard that really should have been to program, but is what it is. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and double switch just in case. Joey's a better shortstop, but... Kester should be good enough. But hopefully it's all for nothing and Shibuya just gets the job done. Alright, Touch Eye looks at a strike. Tom did not look super confident handling that pitch. Weak grounder to first. Terry picks it up, steps on the bag. One down. Derek Lee, who is two for four today, has a this pitch go too high. This one called a strike. It looked high to me, but I'm not the umpire. That one will knock it down. Sweeney grabs it. Two down. Oh, the Reds are going to pinch hit for Adam Dunn and put in Scott Hatterberg. I mean, Hatterberg has had a good start to the year, apparently, but... Still not sure I would have taken Adam Dunn out to do it, especially when you only need one run. He could have very easily done that in one swing. Hatterberg behind 0-2. He's going to ground a second. Phil grabs it, throws it over, and that is that. Your final score today, Indianapolis Squirrel 6, Cincinnati Reds 5. And that will even this particular series. Rubber game tomorrow. We'll look at some highlights. Looks like you're going to start off with Encarnacion's home run. Which looked like it might win the game, but then we came right back and were able to tie it. And then here is the winning run. Zach driving it in with a double in the right center wall right at the bullpen fence. And Shibuya and Zach, your co-players of the game. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, feel very free. Otherwise, we'll be back here tomorrow in Cincinnati to see who wins this series. We will see you then.